What's going on everybody? I'm Honda Pro Jason in Guatemala at Honda Fest. I don't even know what to say. I have so much to show you guys. So Honda Fest started with a small group of people. It's now grown to over 250 cars here in the show, over 300 cars in the race. They have a swimming pool here. They have food, they have entertainment, they have a DJ. They also have 100 degree weather. So for that reason, thanks to VP Racing, I'm gonna be wearing a hat, which I normally don't. So this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Since I've already shown you this event about four years ago, I'm gonna go around and show you guys and prove to you that Guatemala imports more JDM cars than anybody in the world. That's right. They import more cars from Japan to Guatemala than anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the right-hand drive cars that are at this event. Now remember, 250 cars in the show. You're gonna be surprised to see how many are right-hand drives. Let's go check them out, come on. Right-hand drive, come on. Left hand drive. Very nice Civic left hand drive. There's a reason why this one's roped off. You can see all the carbon on the bottom. It's just done really, really well. Very, very nice. Come around to the side. Just an absolutely beautiful SI. It may look JDM, it's left hand drive. Left hand drive, right hand drive. Very nice. Left hand drive. Right hand drive. Very nice. And cover type R. I've said this before, but it's worth saying again. No type R has ever had a sunroof. Is the door open? They're always stick shift and they're always only four seaters. There's no center belt there. So that's how you know it's a real type R. And right hand drive. Thank you guys. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Drive. Let's left hand drive, but really nice. I love that color. Absolutely beautiful. Left hand drive. Again, love this color. Left hand drive though. Left hand drive. I will tell you that we're shooting this a little bit late in the day. There were a few other right hand drives right here, but we'll get back to them. Come on. Left hand drive, but very, very nice. Really nice setup on this, honestly. Morgan's nice. I like all the little carbon bits. Kevlar up and carbon bits on the side. Okay. Right hand drive. You got the mirrors. You got the parking pole. You got the front piece. All. Oh. All the gym. You got you got power mirrors on this one. And on the CRVs, very important. There was no rear spare tire, so this is all nice and smooth. That's how you know it's re real JDM. Left hand drive. Left hand drive, but again. CRVs roll hard out here. I mean, really hard out here. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Right hand drive. Another Type R. You guys know how you can tell it's a Type R, right? Well, it's an Integra DC5. 
we didn't have Type R's or right-hand drives in the U.S., but no sunroof, manual, and you can't see the back seats, but I guarantee there's only two seats back there. Let's continue on. Right-hand drive, EG6. This is a really, really cool car. This car has got so many crazy features. Double overhead cam from the factory. It's got climate control. It's got a whole bunch of stuff that we never got in the US. Come on. Left hand drive, left hand drive, right hand drive. The Honda Beat, the only Honda Beat here at the event. So I could probably almost pick this car up if I wanted to. The Honda Beat's a K car. So it's a 660cc, very, very small, very, very compact, very, very good on gas. Never came to America. Left hand drive, left hand drive, left hand drive, left hand drive, left hand drive fit, left hand drive. This is left, but hey, how do you not talk about a Mugen SI? So, we had these in America and they weren't that popular, but if you come check it out, I'll show you what the differences were. It was a Mugen SI, so they had the Mugen wheels, Mugen suspension, Mugen lip. Inside it had a Mugen, Mugen shift knob. Had a Mugen spoiler. Mugen exhaust, Mugen rear bumper, and the Mugen SI badge. Now, a fun fact about this car is actually Mugen didn't really build this car. This car is built in Canada. Mugen just shipped Honda, Mugen shipped Honda of Canada all the parts and they put it all together. This is actually the car that I came in. It is right-hand drive. It is a complete Jay's Racing build. Yeah. Jay's Racing. So exciting to see you. Ah, uh, muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Where were we? Oh, Jay's racing car. Come on. What's up, what's up, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good to see you. What, what do you like about Guatemala and, and, and what do you expect for this trip? I, the people, they seem to get nicer and nicer every okay. time they come. Okay. The food is excellent, the cars are great. Uh, this trip I saw a lot more of the scenery. We went down to Antigua. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Saw the mountain and you hung out in the evening what time. What do you like the most about the food, the Guatemala food? It is your third time, right? It is my third time. Okay. So yesterday, I had uh, coconut shrimp with plantains on a skewer. Okay. It's really good. I like to use, use a lot of sweet things okay. with salty. I like that mix a lot. So I get asked all the time, what is it like filming when you're traveling? Well, it's awesome because I get to meet so many people, but filming a video for you guys, so I have to do three things. I have to enjoy the show myself. I have to meet all the fans here, all the Honda fans and I need to film. I need to do all those three things in a span of like usually six hours. So it gets very complicated. So hopefully that was a little taste of what I go through. But back to the Jay's racing car, come on. There it is. So this is the Jay's racing car that I drove here in. I say Jay's racing because you're gonna see Jay's racing plaques out everywhere. The car is actually built at Jay's racing in Japan. So it's Jay's exhaust. Jay's rear spoiler. It's got a Mugen hardtop. Inside it's got the Jay shifter. It's got Jay steering wheel, bunch of gauges, a cool VTEC controller on the bottom of there, you see it? There you go. And then coming around to the side here. Jay's, Jay's. Jay's front bumper, front lip.
this engine was built and blueprinted by Jay's Racing in Japan. How sick is that? Let's see what all the noise is about. Well, I'll tell you right now. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. And you can tell because this is how you can tell because of the tire. Oh, fun fact about this car, if you want to look at it. It's like, this show started at eight o'clock, uh, eight o'clock. They finished painting this car at four Left hand drive, but super cool. So, there's cars with carbon on it. I mean, that's beautiful, aired out Civic over there. Absolutely beautiful. Tons of carbon. I love the seats. It's a Mugen SI, it looks great, but, but, this S2000 is on another level. It's carbon on carbon on carbon. Carbon lip, carbon bumper, carbon hood, carbon fenders, carbon doors, the mirror caps. He has carbon covering the entire vehicle, even the inside, look at that piece. That's a massive piece of carbon inside. I'm loving the seats. The wide body, see if you can get a good angle of this wide body. That FN2, right hand drive. I don't believe they made, oh, they did make FN2s in left hand drive. This is a right hand drive, Type R, Euro R. So Japan got the FD2, which there is one up here somewhere. I gotta find it. Uh, in fact, I think it's there in that white car. I don't know if you can see it in the background. That's an FD2 right there. There you go, right by the hospital thing. So we'll look at that one in a moment. But this FN2 has got a bunch of Mugen bits on it. It's got the Mugen spoiler. I thought it had some Mugen gauges inside. Different from bumper and carbon hood. Again, we know it's a Type R, why? Well, no sunroof, stick shift, and there's only two seats in the back. Right hand drive. This one's really nice. Right hand drive. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Uh, left hand drive. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Uh, left. Left. This is nice. I missed this one before. This is really nice. Nice Recaros. I like the spoiler in the back. I like the SIR badge, not an SIR, but I like the SIR badge. Very cool. One next to it, kind of a clone, just not in blue. One of the few preludes at the show. We have not seen too many preludes at all at the show. Right? Yes, right hand drive. Bro, now I'm starting to get confused between right and left. Right hand drive. Left hand drive. EK9. Civic Type R, first gen. Only available in Japan. Right hand drive. I know you guys know, but no sunroof, stick shift. Only two seats in the back. But this is the one, this is the Civic Type R that started Civic Type Rs. So before the Civic Type R, there was an Integra Type R and then an NSX R. Some argue the NSX R was a Type R, some don't. Wow. This is nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, so this, this one here is interesting because he, he's only owned this for a very short time. He bought the car totally stock. It was a Civic DX. He changed everything 
in the past since like November. You said November. November. No, yeah, November. It's crazy. It's getting very windy and very dangerous because tents are flying everywhere. Yeah, you guys can see that tent right there almost launched. Another one just got, you can see all the basura in, in the sky. Look, it's trying to up, 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 up. No, 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 no. All the basura, look. <laughs> and there goes that. Okay, let's keep shooting while we can, okay? Just watch out for um, something that might impale us. Come on. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Left hand drive, left hand drive, left hand drive. Ah, right hand drive. DRX right hand drive. Full roll cage. We're not gonna get too much into them because honestly, I'm starting to get worried about my uh, health and safety and the safety of my cameraman. So uh, let's keep going. Left hand drive, left hand drive, right hand drive. Right hand drive. Left, left, left hand drive, but because of the windshield, I wish it was right hand drive so you could see out his front windshield. Left hand drive. The second prelude we've seen. Left hand, left hand, left hand. It's a lot going on, I'm not even gonna get into it, but left hand drive. Left hand drive. Very nice, my friend. One thing I love about Guatemala, much like a lot of Honda events, they're very, very proud of their vehicles. No matter how old, really no matter what condition, how long they've owned them, if they're show cars or race cars, they're very, very proud people and they're very, very proud of their cars. You guys are gonna love this one. This is a real weird one. If I hid this door, you would say, hey, this is an EP3. It's not, it's an EU from Europe. EU is a five door. Like the EP3, but a 1.7 liter D-series, uh, D so not quite the same engine at all. Very basic inside. This is actually, if you look, there's a cup holder for your Gallego. It fits perfectly, because Guatemala. Also, it's a CVT, so it's one of the first uses Honda used in the CVT. And it is a four-door. Right? Okay, let's go check out that FD2 that I told you guys about a minute ago. Okay. This is one of my favorite cars of the whole show. You don't see too many FD2s anywhere. Real FD2, it's so a Civic Type R from Japan. Japan got this, Europe got the FN2, which is that little three-door hatch that I showed you a couple minutes ago. So a Type R, lots of moving bits. Four door. Even though it's a four door, though, remember there's only two seatbelts in the back. Very nice, very clean. Yeah. And yes, they also have a giveaway car. This 09SI is going to be given away in just a few minutes here. Looking good, looking good. Let's go someplace a little quieter so I can finish up the video. Come on. Okay, so it's 100 degrees outside. I'm thinking about jumping in that pool. In addition to the show, there's about 300 to 350 race cars, quarter mile. Some of the faster cars run mid nines, all motor, which is pretty quick. Awesome show. Huge thanks to Cesar for hosting me, bringing me out from America. This is the fourth time I've been to Guatemala, and guess what? Next year is gonna be fifth, I'm coming back. It's amazing, so thank you to Cesar. Everybody I met, it's been an absolute riot. I've had so much fun. I'm seriously thinking about jumping in that pool. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys have a different appreciation for Guatemala. Some of the JDM cars they brought out, brought out here. 
there were probably 10 to 15 cars that left before we started filming, but you guys kind of get the idea of how many cars they import from Japan. It's, it's not just uh, Honda cars, that's all I care about, but there's more than that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video again. As always, this time from Guatemala, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know. Well, the event is over, everyone's going home, and now it's time for the cows to go home because there's freaking cows walking through the car show. Why? I, I don't know why. It's Guatemala. It's why, yes. So there's a couple Hondas and there's a couple cows. Moo.